Shopping for fragrance candles can be enjoyable and fun, but it is important to know what you're looking for in order to make the right choice. Now in today's video I'm not going to recommend you specific candles, in fact I'm actually going to send you to my buddy Detail Dream, who's doing an excellent job when it comes to the right candle for the right situation. This video here is just a primer when it comes to figuring out what direction you want to go to and what are the aspects of fragrance candles. Why am I doing this? You know, a lot of people in the fragrance community are talking about how to get the most compliments for your fragrance. But what actually happens next? Well, you have to be an interesting person to attract the other sex or the same sex or whatever you're into. But once you actually bring them home for the first time, well, assuming you're not living in your mom's basement, but let's say you have your own apartment or your own house and you want to make a good impression. Well, aside from being tidy and clean and having nice furniture, maybe just having a, a, a good vibe, you definitely want to focus on the sense of smell because that's a very subconscious way of actually indicating whether or not you feel comfortable. That's how the sense of smell is designed. And besides that, oftentimes we don't even realize how our apartments or our home smells because we have something called nose blindness. After a while, we just get used to our own smells. And when somebody else comes in, they might have a completely different experience than what you think there is. So with that being said, here are some tips on how to shop for your fragrance candles like a pro. First off, it's about the scent, obviously. The scent is a personal thing, so when searching for a candle, think about which space it will be used in. For example, a bright and citrusy scent may be better for a kitchen or a home office, while a warm, cozier scent may be something for the living room or your bedroom. In general, you can also research your fragrance notes of your favorite fragrances in order to determine what direction you would like to go to in order to transfer that into a fragrance candle and upgrade your home smell. If you like this type of video, you already know what to do. Spray that like button, subscribe and hit the bell and we'll move on to the next point. Next point is about the wax. The most common types of candle wax are paraffin wax and soy wax. Paraffin wax is a petroleum based byproduct of the oil refining process. So it's relatively inexpensive and easy to obtain. However, it produces a more of a soot than candles made from other wax types. And it generally is not really something that's considered natural or something that's really clean. If possible, try to buy a high quality paraffin candle that produces less soot than cheaper counterparts. But if you want to go a little bit more into the green and sustainable direction, then I advise you to check out soy wax. This is an all natural alternative to paraffin wax that is made from soybeans. It burns cleanly and it is more affordable than other waxes that are natural such as coconut wax. Coconut wax on the other side is another option that burns cleanly and slowly, but it is more expensive and you know, it's not as easy to find. In my mind, the top of the line waxes is bee wax, but there are a couple of cons with that. And in my opinion, one of the biggest cons is that bee wax in general transfers its own kind of smell. Personally, I love bee wax and the smell of it. It always reminds me of my childhood where we used to roll our own little candles back in, in uh, school. But that being said, bee wax is another common candle wax that burns slower and longer than the other types, but it can be more expensive than all the others. And it's also not available in as many scents or colors that you might want. Guys, I don't know what is going on with my voice today. It's crackling, so I got to drink a little bit of apple juice here. Coming to the next point, the wig type. The most common wig types are actually cotton wigs. And they're the most popular choices for scented candles because they are made from natural materials and it helps to ensure a clean burn. Wooden wicks are another popular option that add a little bit of a rustic charm and create a more intense fragrance experience. Depending on the wick itself, it actually crackles, with, which gives you like this nice little bonfire or fireplace feel. Sometimes, and this is a criticism of our candle for me, we had a candle called Movie Night. Um, I love the smell, however, the crackling was so loud that it actually annoyed me. And on top of that, some candles actually have multiple wicks, which depends often on the size of the candle, you know, and for, for a regular burn, so you don't have a pool in the middle. Um, and that also obviously contributes to releasing the fragrance in a, a more stronger way than a single wick could. Now, moving on to the burn time. 
Um, let's just check. This little guy here, well, it does say to never burn it more than two to three hours at a time, which is a generally uh, a good range. You don't want to leave that unattended. It's a burning product. Don't leave it with your cats or pets or kids. It doesn't actually mention the total burn time. So this one, th this actually this surprised me because this is a, a 300 gram, 10.5 ounce candle. And I thought it would be lo burning longer when I originally uh, received it from the production. But it says up to 29 hours. And that is because we have a heavy double wooden wick. So in general, burn time is another important factor to consider when shopping for fragrance candles. And the burn time, as you can imagine, refers to the amount of time that it takes for a candle to burn completely. And when I mean completely, you don't want to really burn a candle until you just expose the glass cut. There's a couple of videos online how the glass is all full of soot and it's like about to pop, you know. So be reasonable with everything. And as you can imagine, longer burn times are generally more cost effective because they last longer and you don't have to replace your candle as often. However, it is important to note that the burn time can vary depending on the size of the candle, but also the conditions in which it is burned. For example, when you're in a cold place versus a hot place, even the air, uh, what do you call it, the humidity levels. To get most out of your candle, it is important to always follow the manufacturer's instructions for burning, such as trimming the wick before each use. And <laughs> I wish I actually listened to my own advice here because I never trimmed the wick. If you're looking for a candle with a strong throw or scent, your best bet is a large multi-wick candle. These types of candles create a bigger wax pool and that releases more fragrance than a single wick candle, for example. You also have to remember that there's something called cold throw and hot throw, meaning how does the candle smell when it's not burning, that's the cold throw, and how, how, uh, how much of the scent is it projecting. And also there's the measure on how much scent does it produce when it's burnt. Hence the, the multi-wick solution if you want to get more out of it. <clears throat> and honestly, you would be surprised. Like this one, uh, the one that I mentioned before, the Halloween candle, I don't even have to burn that thing. It's basically like a room spray. It's really strong and I, I <laughs> this one is one of my favorite fragrance candles, believe it or not. Some candle experts will say that paraffin wax candles produce the strongest aroma, but a good quality soy candle with a thicker wick can definitely compete with that and be just as pungent. When looking for a strong candle, also consider the scent itself, because certain ingredients, they just play a little bit different, you know? So look for candles that feature top notes that will really grab your attention, because those are the aromas that evaporate fast and quickly to fill the room. Lastly, a lot of people wonder if you can reuse the candle jars and of course you can. It just depends when whether you want. Like I don't know how I love this jar. I don't know what I would reuse it for, maybe as a planter or something. Um there's different types of use for different things and a lot of candles are basically put into uh, a mason jar, you know, so you can reuse that to whatever you like to do with it. One of the ways to do it is to stick the candle jar into the freezer to solidify any leftover wax and then use a dull butter knife to scrape it out. You can then easily wash it out with hot water and remove any residual fragrance. So this is it. If you listen to these facts, then you can be sure to find a fragrance candle that'll work for you and that you'll love and that will suit your needs. Whether you're looking for a candle to add a warm and inviting ambience to your home or you just want to have a candle that will help you relax and unwind, there are plenty of options available to choose from. Take the time to research and find the perfect candle for you and enjoy the benefits of having a beautifully scented home. And now the most important part, you. I want to hear from you. Do you use fragrance candles? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you hate? What are your experiences? Let me know in the comments below and have a conversation. I love this topic in general. I think I'm actually going to dive a little bit deeper into it because it has a little bit to do with my next business. But in order to know more about that, you need to subscribe and hit the little bell and I'll talk to you in the next one.